A woman helped a lynx that was crying. Years later, something incredible happened. Life often reserves unimaginable surprises. Weaving stories that transcend the boundaries of the ordinary. A woman whose life was deeply connected to nature. And animals had an experience that would change her life. And that of a lynx forever. In a chance encounter. The woman came to the aid of the distressed feline without knowing that this act of kindness would plant the seed of an extraordinary bond. Want to know what happened? Stay with me. The story takes place near a picturesque village in the United States, where vast areas of fertile land and farms make up the rural landscape. This place is characterized by its tranquility and natural beauty home to various animals that coexist with the local inhabitants. In this environment, farmers work diligently to cultivate the land and raise their animals while facing the challenges presented by wild animals. These predators caused chaos on the farms by repeatedly attacking the animals. As a result, many farmers chose to install traps to keep hungry lynxes at bay. However, the conventional traps used by the farmers were extremely dangerous for the animals, often causing severe injuries and broken limbs. Even if the lynxes managed to free themselves, they would often succumb to their wounds or succumb to exhaustion. Valeria, the protagonist of this story, grew up on a family farm in this area surrounded by wildlife and nature. From a young age, she learned about the importance of caring for animals and the land from her dedicated and passionate farmer parents. They instilled in her a love and respect for wildlife, teaching her the value of each living being and its role in the ecosystem. Throughout her childhood, Valeria had the opportunity to rescue and rehabilitate injured animals. She encountered during her walks around the farm. These experiences fostered a deep bond with nature and allowed her to acquire skills in handling and caring for various species. However, the species that caused the most problems was the lynx, which enjoyed eating farmers' chickens and other animals. Valeria was deeply saddened by the cruelty of the local farmers, knowing they were hurting these majestic felines. So, she decided to find a solution to the problem. In an effort to protect the farm animals and ensure the well-being of the lynxes, Valeria dedicated herself to researching and seeking more humane alternatives to traditional traps. Through her search, she discovered modern traps designed to capture animals without causing harm. This would allow the owners to deter predators from entering certain areas without hurting them. To learn more about these modern traps, Valeria consulted online sources, spoke with experts in the field, and attended workshops and conferences on wildlife management. Her determination and compassion led her to implement these humane traps on her family farm. As a result, the lynxes were deterred without suffering any harm. Valeria's efforts were a success, and she became an advocate for wildlife protection inspiring others to adopt more compassionate methods of dealing with animal conflicts. Her story serves as a powerful reminder of the impact one person's actions can have on the lives of animals and the natural world. Through her kindness and dedication, Valeria not only saved the lynxes from harm, but also fostered a deeper understanding of the importance of coexisting with wildlife in harmony. Once Valeria had acquired enough knowledge and experience, she began implementing the use of these traps in her community to convince farm owners and the general public that these modern traps were a safe and effective alternative. Valeria decided to record a video demonstrating how the traps worked. In the video, she activated a trap using her own hand clearly showing that it didn't cause her any pain. This video served as compelling evidence that these modern traps were a more humane and ethical solution compared to the traditional traps commonly used in the area. Despite Valeria's efforts, the farmers showed no interest in adopting 
the new method and preferred to stick with the traditional approach. Without concern for the well-being of the lynxes. When she heard about a lynx approaching a farm, she would place her special traps in the vicinity, successfully keeping the lynxes away from those areas, before they could fall into the harmful traps set by the farmers. However, her biggest challenge was when she had to release the trapped lynxes, a task that required special skills not available to everyone, and had to be done very carefully to avoid injuring herself. Every day after work, Valeria would check the traps and release the lynxes. After being freed, the animals would usually run away and find a new home where they wouldn't be a nuisance to anyone. But one day, the situation would be different. While Valeria was walking through the fields as she did every day after work, she found a lynx trapped in one of her traps. The animal seemed furious and showed no joy at seeing Valeria unaware that she would give it a new chance at life. Valeria saw the lynx and immediately prepared to release it. Although she was wearing sturdy boots to protect herself, Valeria only had a large homemade shield to keep herself safe from the lynx. When she approached the trap, the lynx started growling and trying to escape, visibly scared. It was not surprising as trapped animals often feel fear in the presence of humans. However, with one paw caught in the trap, the lynx had no chance of escaping. Valeria approached with the shield in front of her, and carefully positioned it over the trapped paw of the animal. The shield had a hole at the bottom, allowing Valeria to place her foot on the other side, protecting herself from possible scratches or bites, and providing some reassurance to the lynx. Valeria made eye contact with the lynx, as if trying to convey that she meant no harm, and that everything would soon be over, and it would be free. The large feline seemed to understand that she was trying to help, and it relaxed, no longer trying to escape. This allowed Valeria to release the trap and set the lynx free. Once the lynx was free, Valeria removed the shield and quickly stepped back. It took the lynx a moment to realize that it was no longer trapped. When the lynx finally realized its freedom, it approached Valeria slowly and then slipped away under a nearby vehicle. Valeria noticed that the animal was scared and disoriented. So she knelt down and began speaking softly to the lynx to calm it down and reassure it. Gradually, the lynx relaxed and seemed to understand that Valeria meant no harm. It was a moment of connection between a compassionate woman and a wild creature. And it was a beautiful example of how empathy and kindness can make a difference in the lives of animals in need. Calming it, Valeria said. It's okay, friend. I won't harm you. You're free now. You can go to the forest and live in peace. The Lynx Upon hearing Valeria's calm and friendly voice, cautiously peeked its head from under the vehicle, observing the woman with curiosity growing. Valeria added, Come on, don't be afraid. I just want you to be safe and away from any danger. Upon hearing these words, the lynx felt more confident and slowly emerged from under the vehicle, keeping a safe distance but no longer showing signs of extreme fear. The lynx seemed to understand Valeria's intentions and, with one last glance at her, ventured into the nearby forest. Valeria had already saved numerous lynxes, protecting them from an uncertain fate and ensuring they could continue to live freely. However, this particular rescue would stand out from the rest. As Valeria released the lynx, she observed it running towards a stream. She followed the animal at a safe distance to ensure it wouldn't fall into the water while still being scared and disoriented. The lynx drank some water, and their gazes crossed once again. It was then that Valeria noticed a distinctive mark on the lynx's chest, making it easily recognizable in the future. Although she had no reason to think she would encounter this particular lynx again, time would prove her wrong. Over the years, Valeria had rescued many different animals. 
Five years had passed since the encounter. And her children were now a little older. She could teach them all about the land and animals. And one way to do that was by taking them to the highlands to go camping. They set up their tents under some trees near a stream in a clearing, where they could make a campfire and prepare their food. It turned out to be an unforgettable experience. However, they never imagined how extraordinary this night would be. While Valeria and her children were playing cards, suddenly, a shadow emerged from the bushes, it was a lynx. Valeria signaled to her children to remain still, and not make any sudden movements. Upon closer inspection, she recognized the mark on the lynx's chest. It was the same lynx she had released years ago in the area. The lynx didn't seem aggressive. But Valeria understood not to trust a wild animal. She remained alert and ready to act if the situation required it. Then, the lynx did something that Valeria and her children would never forget. It called out, and from the bushes emerged three small lynx cubs. They played and even approached the children. It seemed as if the majestic creature had remembered. The kindness Valeria showed and wanted to share. That moment with her offspring. Content, the lynx called again. And the cubs followed it back into the bushes. Disappearing from sight. It was an incredible experience that Valeria. And her children would cherish forever. This was the video of the day today. We hope you truly enjoyed it. Now it's your turn to answer these questions and participate in the debate. What did you learn from this story? Did you like what Valeria did to preserve nature? And rescue so many animals? Do you think dangerous predators can be left alone? By the time police realized why. The lion was blocking the road. Their hearts are broken. The mystery of how five clever lions were able to. Escape their enclosure at Tarana Zoo has been solved as. New CCTV footage shows the exact moment they broke free. Footage shows lion cubs Rizuko. Zuri, Kari and Malika. And a full-grown male named Otto sniffing around the enclosure. The zoo declared a level 1 emergency after. One of the cubs escaped through a hole in the metal fence. And was soon chased by others. When an animal breaks free from a zoo, all alarms in the facility activate simultaneously. Terrifying footage shows the escaped lions driving along the outer perimeter of the enclosure, while vehicles and pickups trail them at slow speeds. Vans and pickup trucks are trying to catch up to the lion. The police found the big lion standing in the middle of the road and refused to move. It was later discovered that it was very scared and was just protecting its cubs. Called by the lioness Maya and the zoo staff. The lions finally found their way back to the enclosure. They remained within a few meters of the fence at all times. Rizuko was the first cub to return. Followed by female calf Suri and male calf Kari. Meanwhile, Malika was sedated by the zoo's emergency response team. So she could be handled safely. Otto the adult lion returned to the enclosure late. Malika was eventually brought back to the den by keepers. Who rounded up the lions just in time for. The entrance to the tourist attraction to open that day. An ongoing investigation by the zoo found that. The lions had been playing and interacting with. The enclosure for about 20 minutes before it was breached. After the lions were able to slip out of the opening at 6.40 am. The alarm was activated and the zoo went into lockdown. The clips used to hold the wires and cables together malfunction. Causing one of the wires to come loose, officials said. In turn, this creates a hole in the fence through which the lion can squeeze its way. In a statement. Preliminary independent engineering advice was said to have determined. That a molded clip holding the wire rope together had broken which allowed the stay cables connecting. The fencing mesh to the tension cables to come loose. Molded clips are clamps that hold cables together. After that, the lions were able to punch holes in the walls and slip through them. Tarona Zoo staff are relocating families.
who spent the night in buildings close to the fence. According to attendee Magnus Perry, they had to sprint somewhere between 50 and 70 meters to open the door. At 9 a.m., Taruna Zoo director Simon Duffy assured guests that the lion had been released into its natural environment and that no harm had been done to visitors or staff. The only people in the vicinity other than families who were camping were staff as the lion burst out of its enclosure before the zoo opened that day. An independent specialist forensic engineer is still conducting extensive checks for malfunctions in the complex mesh fencing system. According to a statement released by Taruna Zoo, their investigation into the dodgy escape is still ongoing. The zoo said the lions would remain in the outdoor logistics facility until professional engineering advice was obtained. And it was highly doubtful they would be able to return to the main exhibit before the holidays. Taruna Zoo Lion Escape Schedule 4 a.m. A family living in a tent near the lion enclosure is awakened by roaring. 6.30 a.m. The lion escapes the enclosure. 6.40 a.m. A lockdown alarm is sounded at the zoo and all staff, except the lion keeper, are ordered to shelter in a safe haven. About 50 guests were evacuated from their tents and moved to a safe area. 6.50 a.m. Zookeepers get the situation under control and move the five lions back to their enclosures. 8 a.m. Guests can return to their rooms. 8.28 a.m. Sydney radio presenter Ben Fordham announces. Taruna Zoo is in lockdown after four lions escaped. 8.52 a.m. Taruna Zoo has released a statement confirming the incident. Saying five lions escaped but returned to their enclosures. It said there was an emergency at Taruna Zoo this morning. When five lions were found outside their enclosure. The zoo has strict safety protocols in place for such incidents. All personnel at the scene have been transferred to a safe area. And no guests or staff were injured. All animals are now in their exhibits and are closely monitored by zoo staff. The zoo is open as usual today. More details will be provided where possible. At 10.30 a.m., zoo officials confirmed that the escape was caused by a breach in the enclosure. In another bizarre video that went viral, a Kuwaiti woman was filmed walking down the street with a lion in her arms after it escaped from its owner's house. This is the moment a woman walks through the streets with her pet lion. The owner of the big cat can be seen in the video taken in Sabahia, south of Kuwait City. He was seen struggling to hold on to the animal as it scuttled around shows the critter twisting and growling loudly while being held by its owner. After walking a few yards, the seemingly tired woman finally put the animal on the ground, so she could take a break inside the house. On Sunday, the news website Alamba reported that the lion managed to escape the enclosure in the Sabahia neighborhood south of Kuwait City. Environmental police were present before the big cat was brought back to the enclosure, report said. The police assisted the woman in bringing her under control. While it is illegal in Kuwait and many other Gulf states, there is a general cultural trend to keep exotic animals as pets. Following the sighting of a feral cat roaming Dubai Springs in June 2020, the municipality has decided to launch a new initiative to crack down on the possession of dangerous animals. However, it was later discovered that the photographed animal was actually a house cat. Both the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia have laws prohibiting people from owning certain types of pets. However, these rules are rarely enforced. In 2019, experts warned that East Africa's cheetah populations were at risk of extinction as cubs were kidnapped and sold to wealthy Arab men as pets. According to Dr. Lori Mark, who works for the Cheetah Conservation Foundation, as many as three-quarters of the cubs born to wild cheetahs in the Horn of Africa are kidnapped and sold to smugglers each year. This information has been provided to Mail Online. 
She warned that if nothing was done to end the trade, the creatures would become extinct within the next two years. If nothing is done, the Daily Mail Online found the video. And pictures posted on Instagram shows how wealthy owners in Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates use their big cats as status symbols driving around and taking photos with them at home. The videos and pictures were posted on Instagram in 2014. In 2014, another strange thing happened. Citizens of Norwalk, California are on edge amid rumors that an African lion may be prowling the neighborhood. The only photos of the mysterious monster that have surfaced so far are shaky security camera footage showing the beast prowling the sidewalk. Professionals from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife analyzed the footage. Officials have determined that the cat-like animal is not a cougar. Department officials were still unable to determine the species of the animal, according to authorities. They will continue to investigate. The appearance of the monster has Norwalk Mayor Marcel Redarte very interested. Redarte said the animal remains a mystery because its tail doesn't seem to match the morphological features of a puma. Authorities at a nearby zoo claimed that no big cats were missing from their Virginia facility. A year ago, people were terrified of a lion. But it turned out to be a Labrador. This event is similar to the one above. People are sometimes fooled by dog grooming tactics. But the walk of the mysterious beast in California has residents concerned.